There's nothing that people love more than weird stains on odd kitchen tables. Hey there. Hey there, folks. Thought I'd do a little bit of a throwback. Throwback to these days when I used to do videos like this. And this is all that you knew about Piggy uh, until I decided to show my body and get made fun of uh, for being 5'2". But that's fine. That's fine. Today, I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of a hot ditty. A little ditty, if you would, uh, but not about Jack and Diane. It's actually about a classic Ace production that I've seen people do in the playground. Ah, the playground. That's when men were made of boys and you discovered things about yourself you wouldn't rediscover again until college. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this with uh, multiple cards. And uh, it's a little bit of a hot and heavy cis white card trick. So let's just, let's just get into it, guys. Let's just get into it. Look at, look at this, look at this. So this is gonna be known as the Toss Production, actually titled the Friction Production. This puppy has probably been in every book on kids magic. And uh, no, no, that's not on magic with kids. It's magic for kids. <laughs> so according to Dennis Bear and his wonderful Conjuring Archive, this Ace production is from a book known as 28 Card Tricks with Carl Fulvies. And uh, the initial little thing apparently is all the way from the Cardition. But I'm about 98% certain that this has been uh, done by cave by the cave people, by the cave people. And uh, probably also somewhere in Discovery of Witchcraft. Leave in the comments below if somehow your virginity level is higher than mine and you happen to know more about this move than I do. Now the move itself looks a little bit like this. You're just throwing a deck from one hand to the other and you're holding back two. However, this could be used as a little bit of a production. I hope I don't have to explain that further than I'm just putting my thumb on top my fingers on the bottom and by putting pressure and throwing the deck to my left hand while holding back and putting a little bit of pressure, enough pressure that I could release the deck, but not enough pressure that this doesn't happen. You don't want this to happen. So all you want to do is hold back the top and bottom card so that when you toss it, they're held back in the hand. So this could be two cards that are picked. Maybe you could have two cards picked by two different participants. You control one to the uh, bottom of the deck using your favorite method. In this case, I'm gonna use the double undercut, the double undercut, oh boy, oh boy. Where can you learn hot moves like this? Well, the, the Pig Cake Magic Academy, two videos a week, oh boy, over 150 videos already, oh boy, $5 a month, oh boy. The moment you sign up, you have access to all said videos, oh, oh man. Check it out, go ahead and check it out. Uh, so you control a card to the bottom and you control a card to the top via your favorite methods here. In this case, I'm just simply doing two double undercuts. You hold the cards in your right hand, toss them over to your left hand and you could produce both cards just like that, very simply. However, we're gonna use this as a little bit of an ace production. So we're gonna use the four aces in this particular case and the way we're doing this is that we're putting two on the bottom and we're leaving two on top. Now you see what this does. So what this allows you to do is actually very interesting because you could do the move twice. You do it once to throw the cards into your left hand and then another to throw the cards on a table and you're actually left holding the four aces of which you could uh, flourish in whatever way you deem acceptable for the moment. So that's just simply done by having two aces on the top of the deck. Again, I'm doing this in a super slow motion for those of you guys from the Eastern portion of China, where I'm sure you have to be using a VPN to watch this, but you're gonna hold the cards in your right hand. You're gonna do the uh, little bit of a toss production as we discussed before, holding back two. And now guess what? You're in the same position, boy. You're in the same position with your left hand. Now all you have to do is just drop these cards on the table, holding back two cards. And now you're left holding four cards, which of course you could show to be the four aces. A little bit of a hottie, a little bit of a baddie if you would. Oh yeah, a little bit of a baddie on that. Now that's of course, if you wanna use that to produce the four aces. If you want, you could do this with four selected cards. So how do we do that pig cake? I see you asking uh, with Doritos, uh, crusted all over your fingertips from an awful poor diet. Well, it's very simple. You're just gonna have four cards picked as you hit the uh, tripod. So you're gonna have four cards picked in this case, and we'll use these. As you do that, you're gonna get a break underneath the fifth card from the bottom of the deck or above four cards. So in this case, we're gonna spot four cards and we're gonna stick our pinky in there as we square up the cards. You see that? A little bit of a big exaggerated break just to show you what I mean here. So we're gonna take these cards, we're gonna mix them up and we're gonna do a variation of the jinx change to control these cards. So the way we do that is that we're gonna put these cards on top of the deck in one continuous action. We're gonna lift all the cards above the break and do a one-handed fan. I know that sounds like a lot. I know that sounds very complicated, but it's not, trust me. You'll be able to do this as a, a level 
what level of virginity are you guys watching this video? At least a level 40 virginity to watch these videos. So you're mixing these cards up. You're going to do this little tidbit here. At some point, you're going to call the attention of one particular participant and say, hey, sir, are you in some sort of national registry that you have to divulge? No? Okay, that's cool. And uh, you're going to put these cards on top of the deck and one action pick all of these up and do a one-handed fan as you spread these cards. So the impression is that these are the same cards that were just in your hand. However, these are in different cards from the bottom of the deck. So at speed, the move looks a little bit like this. That's it. So what you're doing here is that you're going to insert these cards into random spots in the deck, apparently making it seem like you're losing these cards. However, guess what? They're cards that don't matter. They're in different cards. So you could score these up. You could be very fair about this. And their cards are already on top of the deck. In this case, uh, we've used all the f three aces here. <laughs> what a coincidence. What a happy world we live in. So in this particular case, those cards are now controlled to the top and ready to be produced in this particular way. So you're going to double undercut two cards from the top of the deck to the bottom. You're going to double undercut and control those cards to the bottom of the deck. So now you have two cards on top and two cards on bottom. So at this point, you're going to ask the spectator if they want it slow or if they want it fast. If they want it fast, you just go into the toss production. If they say slow, well, this is your opportunity to really, really hit on them, really make them feel uncomfortable, really make them feel uncomfortable about allowing you to invade their space with a card trick. And when you're done with them, you're going to get right into the toss production here where you're producing all the cards in this sort of way. And you say, well, I only know how to do it fast. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that, sir. That's um, a testament to my ability with cards or whatever something a, a, a virgin magician would say. And you show the fact that you found all four cards, of course, uh, being four selections from the participant. Now, this is very useful at the end of multiple selection routines. Multiple selection is a card trick where you have uh, about a dozen spectators pick different cards. And maybe at the end you get lazy and you want to produce four cards without really much work. And uh, this leaves the deck in the same order. You just toss them, toss them back, and then you could produce them in whatever way you want. First time I saw this used in a trick is in this classic ditty where you show two cards, in this case a nine and an eight. You put these cards in the middle of the deck very fairly, showing that uh, your hands are emptier than, um, well, your love life. And then uh, you're able to uh, produce these two cards very easily from the deck in that sort of way. That's the first time I saw this trick of which I have a variation on on this channel. I have a little bit of a hot variation that I taught, I would say maybe two years ago, maybe two years ago. Uh, if I find that and could be absolutely fucked to go through my videos and leave you the link, I'll do that for you guys. I'll do that for you guys because I go above and beyond. Uh, but that's the trick. That's the, the little bit of a hot production. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys performed that. Hope you guys aren't wondering what these stains are. I'm gonna go figure out different ways to clean bodily fluids from surfaces.